thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it. So today we are talking about style mistakes. And I feel like on my channel I'm always talking about the style do's, but never really the style don'ts. Everything that I'm going to share in this video, I've done multiple times over and over again in the past, but I didn't really like know. If you don't know any better, if you don't like catch it yourself, like how are you supposed to know, right? So I really hope you guys can learn from my mistakes <laughs> and learn how to avoid some of these fashion mistakes. <laughs> if you guys find this helpful and you want to see more videos like it, then please give this video a thumbs up. If you are subscribed to the channel already, please subscribe. We would love to have you apart. As some of you may know, we are on a goal to reaching 100,000 subscribers. So right now we are at 23, which is amazing. And as we grow, the hearts will fill in with color until we reach the very, very top, which is the goal of 100,000 subscribers. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, tell your family and your friends to subscribe, share my videos with your brother, your sister, everyone in your family. Once our channel reaches 100,000 subscribers, I will be revealing a mega giveaway. So be sure to subscribe and share my videos. So mistake number one to avoid is showing your socks above your shoes, whether it's sneakers or loafers or flats. I did this for the longest time because I didn't know what other socks to wear until I discovered no-show socks. So I don't even know how long no-show socks have been a thing because when I was growing up, we definitely didn't have them. So I had to learn the hard way and wait a while for these. But these are my no-show socks. They came in a pack of six, three beige and three black. They're about 13 or $14 on Amazon. I'll have them link down below if anyone's interested. And what's nice about these is that they are low enough to hide in your your shoe but they stay on your foot so in these there are a silicone backing so they don't slip off of your heel and as you can probably tell it looks so much better with the no-show socks than it does with regular socks even with like low-cut socks you have to get the no-show socks these are amazing so the second styling mistake is looking unproportioned with your clothing. This is another thing that I had to learn the hard way on because I am so small. I'm very petite. I'm five foot one. So I would buy a shirt even if it was too long and just wear it way too long. So what I have since learned is tucking in my shirt or tying in a knot. This makes all the difference. I will like show you here. It's crazy the difference that this makes from being flattering to unflattering. There is a huge difference in this and it's so easy to do. You can tie it in the front. You can tie it in the back, you can twist it and you can tuck it. Honestly, I feel like twisting and tucking is probably like my favorite way to do it. Tying a knot is just a little more casual, like beachy to me, I don't know. But I feel like you have like a nice blouse, you can still do like the twist and tuck and it still looks really nice and put together. So that is something that I definitely like to do and suggest to everyone. And if you guys would like a video on how I twist and tuck my tops in like different ways, then let me know. Third mistake to avoid is wearing either clothes that are too baggy or too tight. There's a thing that I call the balance rule, and if you're gonna have a tight bottom, then have a looser fitting top. Or if you're gonna have a tighter top, wear looser fitting bottoms. You don't want tight on tight or baggy on baggy. You wanna have some kind of like balance and portion there. So definitely keep that in mind the next time you're putting an outfit together. I promise it'll make all the difference. So the fourth mistake to avoid is wearing the wrong undergarments. Nude is your best friend, like nude bras and nude underwear and no show and seamless. No show, seamless, and nude. Those are all gonna be your best friend. You don't want your bright pink thong or your bright pink bra showing through your top or have like boob bulge over in your shirt. If you're wearing a tight tank top, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's not cute. And you don't wanna be wearing leggings and have like a nasty panty line and have muffin booty top, which is what I call it. <laughs> and I will leave a few things in the description box for what I use. I like the go nipless nipple covers for a lot of tops. There's also this bra that I wear that is like a deep, deep V cut in the front. Um, what else? And I'll leave my favorite no-show seamless panties that I get from Target. I'll leave those linked down below too. So check those out if it is a category you're interested in. Mistake to avoid number five is something that I've done all my life. <laughs> It's a problem and that is just buying something because I love it it's cute I have to have it I need it but it's not flattering on my body type keep in mind just because something is cute it may not look like the cutest on you that's definitely the case with me with so many things I've had to take back or put things back on the shelf that I absolutely love and would love to just like wear the heck out of but it doesn't look good on me it doesn't fit me right it like makes my like short body look even shorter or like look stumpy you know so <laughs> just <laughs> stumpy so um just keep in mind even though you might like something it might not be the most flattering on your body type but that doesn't mean that you won't find something else that you love even more that does look amazingly flattering on your body type so just keep that in mind there's always going to be something that you like even better than that piece that you're currently thinking about 
Bye. So I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was helpful. And if you want to see more videos like this, then give this video a thumbs up. If you are subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. We would absolutely love to have you a part. And don't forget to turn on post notifications for my channel. I upload about four to six days a week. I love you guys. Thank you so much again for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it and it helps me a lot. Everything you need to know is in the description, so check everything out. Everything that I talked about and mentioned um, is also linked um, if anyone is like curious or interested in shopping it. Alright, I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow in a brand new video. Love ya. Bye!